Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and today we're transforming into Annabelle. So it was definitely a process and it was a little funky, but we got there. We look like a doll. We feel haunted. But if you want to see how we created this look, stay tuned and I'll play right after I'm done talking. If you love dolls and you love watching weird stuff on YouTube, don't lie. We know you do. Subscribe to my channel. I upload a video once a week. And if you ever want to catch one of these live on Facebook, I do them every Wednesday night. I will leave my information down in the description. Make sure that you give this video a like too, just because you know, haunted dolls need some love too. So catch you later. Hello. Oh my gosh. I'm such a mess tonight. So I tried to create bangs out of a wig because I didn't want to cut bangs in another wig but it's not really working out for me. So say hi when you get on. If you're catching this on the replay, that means it's not live. Say hello, let us know you're here. I promise I won't have something in my mouth the whole time I record. I'm just trying to get a good grouping of fake bangs. The trick I learned on the Facebook. So I'm gonna try and cheat some bangs and talk with a bobby pin in my mouth you know, just normal day-to-day -day stuff. And I can't see. Okay, so let's see if I can drool on myself. Let's see if we can make some bangs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of hair from the back, ugh, get it in my eyes, and then uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna do our best. If she's got messed up bangs, it's okay. She's a haunted doll, so let's just hope she doesn't take it personally. So who here has seen the Annabelle movies? Because I haven't. Oh, that's sexy. I haven't seen them, but I did some reading on the doll, which is like, if you do any research on this Annabelle doll, it's actually really interesting. So the real Annabelle, there's, there is a real Annabelle, um, is a Raggedy Ann doll. And I guess, um, it is locked up in some museum because this Raggedy Ann doll is possessed. Just like these bangs. <laughs> let's, let's do some braids. And the reason I'm late is I spent so long trying to paint like a ruffled dress on. And I swear this live is, it's got, it's got bad vibes around it. So I ran out of printer ink. Look at how this printed out. Is that not creepy? So, uh, yeah, we have to somehow, since I have no ink, we're going to go off my horrible memory and this creepy picture. Like, yeah, see, I tried to paint her dress and it didn't work. Hi, mom. What do you think so far? Are you so impressed? Ooh, I need to get it together. One of these days I'm going to be on time. I'm going to have everything ready. And then watch, that'll be the day that like my phone doesn't work. Get what you get. At least I'm consistent. Okay, so I'm just trying to braid a wig, which if you've ever worn a wig, you know it's kind of hard because wig hair, wig hair don't care what you want to do. So we're going to do braids just to match the doll. <sighs> Maybe. And the get it out of my face idea. And then we'll do this side really quick. I wonder if there's like a way to brush your wigs without making them lose all their hair. Cause that'd be nice if I had full of hair wigs. Look at this. Like turn into a cat whenever I play with my hair. Oh joy. I need to pin these bigger bangs back too because they look a little funk. These are going to be like the worst braids you've ever seen in your whole life, but it's okay. You won't really see them. Okay. I'm going to tuck that behind my ear and uh, maybe move these. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Let's just get started. Now that we've been here for 17 minutes and watched me do absolutely nothing, <laughs> let's get started. So I'm going to make my whole face light because we're going to be a doll. Um, and yeah, that's where we're going to start. So I'm going to use our lightest concealer. And that's because I don't have the foundation in the lightest color. So we're using concealer and it's full coverage. So we're going to be fully covered. I'm just going to put it on with a kabuki brush. 
just because it makes me feel fancy sometimes. I'm pretty excited about this look. I totally forgot about this doll. And then I was looking into doing some other dolls and I'm like, oh, why don't we just do a creepy one right off the, well, not right off the bat. I guess this is the third look, but she's super creepy. Let's see if we can fix this lighting. Let's just start taking a tab of all the weird things that are happening during this live because I swear there's like some weird stuff going on today. It's like the real Annabelle it doesn't want to be on my face. Okay. That's a very light color. If you're this color in real life, probably means you've worn a fair share of sunblock. Go you. I have not. I probably should be this color. I don't know if any of you put your makeup on with brushes, but these Kabuki brushes, they're the bomb. I don't know, like, what makes them so different. I like them because they, ugh, what is on this brush? Our foundation brushes kind of have, like, that same flatness, but these the clean side <laughs> these are a little bigger so you have more of like a surface area less work but i lock them a lot okay that's an interesting color to be see look at this my lighting is so confused <laughs> i look like casper oh no does it does my neck at least match? We might have to do like our other lighting if this keeps up like this. Can you guys see me? It could just be my uh, my phone setting. So if you can see me, okay, give me like some thumbs up. You don't have to talk, but just give me some thumbs up if you can see me, okay? Or if I'm dark. So thumbs up if you can see me, okay? Let a sister know if you can see me. I'm not seeing any thumbs up, so I'm going to assume you can't see me, right? Okay. That might help a little bit. Better? I think so. Wow. Maybe we should put some more of this on my neck to uh, really make it pop. This is like the whole look, just becoming pale and doll-like. Oops, sorry. Hit the mic, that's not good. Okay, we're pale. Let's set it and forget it. So setting this will just make it less tacky. That's like the fifth weird thing to happen. I don't know if I'm flustered or if this recording is haunted, but I sure like the idea that we're haunted and I'm not just a mess. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to conceal my eyebrows as much as possible because this little doll, I mean, you can't tell in her picture because it's freaky, but her eyebrows are like way up here so I'm trying to cover my dark eyebrows which never goes very well but it's fine we'll, we'll conceal them somehow we always figure something out and then I'm just going to tap some uh, setting powder all around because I had it on my sponge okay so I'm going to start outlining her face so she's got very defined cheekbones I feel dumb showing you this picture because you can't really tell anything but it's interesting. So she's got very defined cheekbones and she's got like a very, she's got like a face like that. See, I already have the doll face. It's gonna be an easy one, guys. You won't even believe it. So I'm gonna get a, should probably use a fluffyish brush. I'll use this one. It's like kind of flat. And it's rounded. I should have a towel somewhere up in this beezy. Oh, it's under my butt. Surprise, surprise. 
Okay, so she has very defined cheekbones. So I'm going to start here. And go up and we'll do shading so that this doesn't look so much like a oh, croissant mustache you know what I mean every time I draw a mustache on I think I do that same thing <laughs> I know French people don't say that but if I was French I would say it all the time okay And they're kind of even, kind of not. Don't worry, it's fine. And then we got these lines. And then let's see, she's got she's just kind of got a very expressiony face. I can't think of words today. It's fine. And then, let's see. She does have very sunken in eyes because she's a doll. And I think, like, her eyes are just floating. So all of this will eventually be shaded in. That looks super pale. Super pale, super pale. Just a super freak guy. I might shade my nose in. I don't know. I just feel like putting on makeup that I don't need. But it's hard to remember what she actually looks like from memory because we're out of ink. We'll just go with that. Yeah. It works, it works. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with that same brush. I'm dipping, oh, by the way, I'm using the brow palette in light blonde. I'm just gonna dip this in the darker brown and then we're just gonna kind of deepen these out. And I hold it flat. And so it's also doing a bit of shading for me. So it's gonna put the darkest towards the top and shade it down for me. Just kind of looks like a mustache. Yeah, this doesn't look very good. Don't worry, guys. I know. It'll get better. Hopefully. Let's do a little bit of blending. I feel like these are some very uh, not doll-like creases. I'm gonna soften that stuff up a bit. And then we'll go back in. Layers and layers of creases. I wish I had printer ink. I should have did this like the negative of the picture. I should have just tried to do it like this instead of trying to make myself look like a doll that I have to remember that I probably won't remember. It's fine. And since my skin is so light, it's messing with the lighting or this video is haunted, which I'm leaning more towards that because weird stuff's happening guys. Okay. You can see that did lighten it up. Uh, now I look like just dirty. Good, I can deal with dirty. This mustache look though, not so much. Not very doll-like. We need more light. It's been a minute since I've had to mess with my lighting. Gosh, we've been every color under the sun and it doesn't phase it. Okay, so 
itchy eye. Let's do a smoky eye. So I'm just gonna go in with some cool toned browns from my brow palette. Use this quite a bit. And we're gonna do like a smoky eye and we're gonna go really dark, but I wanna start small and then build up with the dark. Cause if you do a smoky eye and you start with like black or a really dark purple or a really dark any color, you're kind of leaving yourself open to mess things up. So by doing a lighter color, I mean, this isn't light, let's just be real. It's not light, but it's a lot safer than black. I will say that. And then I'm just gonna put it in this corner because we're just gonna hollow this area out. I don't think I'm looking much like this Annabelle doll, but I think I definitely have like a weird creepy look. It might just be these contacts. I got new contacts. I'm so excited. I got them for another series, but I was thinking that these would make really good doll. But I don't know. Do you guys get a doll vibe from them? I think they're technically for a werewolf. But I just really like the contacts that make my eyes look bigger. And I know I've said this in videos before, but if you put on eyeshadow, like, well, I don't put on eyeshadow every day, but if you put on eyeshadow at all and you don't have a blending brush, it is like the best investment you'll ever make. I don't even care what brand you use. Get yourself a blending brush. They're super fluffy and they make putting on eyeshadow so easy. Because if you ever, if you use something that's dense like this, or if you're like old school and you still use sponges, it takes a while to get it to look good. But with a blending brush, it's just doing all the work for you. I feel like I look like an anime doll. God, why do I look like an anime doll? Brushes are where it's at, right? Yeah, so every time I use one of these now and I'm like, did I just not know? Did I not put on enough to notice? Or, I mean, these are good for when you need to like pat it on. Yeah, maybe it, well, the, the way I used to put it on, it probably wiped off all of the eyeshadow that I was putting on, so it probably didn't look as bad now that I know. I can't use those. Yeah, I use them when I'm putting on, like, glitter because it sticks really well to those sponges. The things we learn as we get older. Heavy gulp. I'm not getting like an Annabelle vibe. I feel like I made my eyes look really sleepy. <laughs> Do I look sleepy? I am sleepy, but I'm not trying to look sleepy. I better clean this up. We're starting to look a little. Yeah, there we go. Wakes you right up. My eyes look so weird and I can't tell if it's just because of these contacts or because of the makeup. We'll just say it's from the contacts. Okay, so I'm gonna get a different, oh, I hate this ring light. I hate it. I'm gonna get a different uh, not clean brush. I'm gonna clean it right now. Okay. a lot of junk on that. Okay, now I'm gonna dip into some black. We're gonna deepen this. So I'm gonna get black and say a silent prayer because this could go very wrong. And I'm gonna get a really dark in the corner. And just kind of blend that over. And I think I might actually make my whole eyelid black just because we want to make it look like I have no eyelids since technically my doll eyes would just be floating inside of an empty head. So there's that to consider too. So 
I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just deepen that corner up. I look like a witch. I look like a witch lady and that's not what I was going for. I'm going to take this flat brush again and I'm going to dip it in this black. I'm just going to pat it on my eyelid. We want it dark. And we're patting because it feels horrible on our eyes, so we want to do it a lot. We also don't want it falling on our face, so we're patting it in. Okay. Let's turn it into a sexy doll. Not intended, but not aim it. <laughs> I never do a uh, smoky eyes on myself in normal life. Anybody else rock a smoky eye a lot? I feel like you have to be in the right mood to be like, yeah. I'm just gonna be bold. I guess I'm just not very, feeling very bold all the time. And I'm always running late, so I literally never do my makeup. <laughs> you do? Yeah, I feel it. Maybe if I had more time, I don't know if that's a lie. I'd just sleep more if I had more time. I did this side backwards. Okay. I look like a witch lady. What do we think so far? Are you getting haunted doll vibes from this? Are you more just seeing if like things are going to start flying off the walls? Oh, speaking of things flying off the walls, I haven't got the courage to do the full black. Lid. Yeah, so me either. Well, that's a lie. I have a full black lid right now. <laughs> but not like in real life. Just just in Facebook life. Fake news. But, uh, yeah, no, I don't know if, because I think that they're super pretty when you see them on people, but I just, I don't know, like, I feel like it would overpower me, and that's just me being a pansy. But what would you do with a, like, a look like this? Would you wear a bold lip, or would you do, like, a... Like a nude lip? I don't know. We're going with the red lip today, so we're going bold on bold. We're breaking the rules. <laughs> yeah, that's how you are too. Oh my gosh. So I have to tell you this story. So the other day, uh, I was up here. Bo is downstairs, and like nothing was happening. It was just a normal night. And then all of a sudden, this huge loud crash happens. Like the first thing I think of is that like Bo ate it hard and like fell and I'm like oh my gosh no so I yell downstairs and see if he's okay and he is so I think our house is haunted but like things go flying off the wall quite a bit but this so I have these things above my uh, kitchen like the cabinets how you decorate up above them I bought this big long sign and it says like farmer's market or something and it's kind of heavy and it's metal but it's like sitting on top of my cabinets so somehow that thing just came flying off of there, fell on the floor. But that's not even the worst part of it. So that when that fell off, it broke our stove. <laughs> so like the knob to turn the stove on and off, it broke it. And so then, you know, like you don't think about it if you don't cook in your oven very often, which, you know, me, domestic goddess, doesn't happen very often. But, uh... So I didn't think of it. And the other night we couldn't get the oven to turn off. And so it was, it looked like it was off, but it was not. So I keep trying to think that it was like a good divine intervention. Like maybe our oven was just going to blow the house up. And the little ghost that we have here was like, I'm not ready to move out. And it saved our lives. Or it was really trying to kill us. Move. Yeah. Right. <laughs> It's so weird when like things just go flying off the wall. You're like, nah, I'm just I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> no, like it hasn't happened. It's weird. It, 
it goes in spurts. So I remember one summer, like pictures flew off the wall and then stuff flew off of our entertainment center in the bedroom and then nothing. And then one year it was flashlights would be turned on, but they would be upside down on the floor downstairs. And then that, that was nothing. And so it was just weird stuff. And then of course, you know, our kitchen, the, the oven breaking ghost. So yeah, <laughs> just yes. Like, and I always, it's always in like dead times. Cause if my dogs are wrestling, I could understand that. I wouldn't say that would be the ghost, but this is like when they're dead asleep, when I'm sitting here working, just stuff goes flying. It's weird. Very weird. So yeah, little fun tidbit. We've got a, a little ghost that doesn't want me to cook. Too bad I have an instant pot. I won that one. <laughs> oh yeah. So now I gotta, we gotta fix the oven. See how that goes. Do I look like one of those Asian cartoon dolls? I feel like I look like an Asian cartoon doll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm just gonna define this. I just jealous. All right. They're like, we don't wanna have to smell this yummy food every night, Kim. <laughs> I'm sure that's it. I think, I think you hit the nail on the head there. I don't know. I sometimes I'll get like kind of scared one of the days and I'm like, you can't hurt anybody in this house or you can't live here. And then you feel like such a goober because you're just talking into the air. Okay. Hmm isn't going very well. Let's draw some eyebrows on. Maybe that'll make us feel better about our lives. So I'm gonna get a brow brush. And of course I can't find the one I really want. Aha, I found it. Tell them I do it too though. Yeah, I feel like you have to be assertive with your house ghosts. You can't let them walk all over you. <laughs> this is gonna be like one of those inspirational haunting videos. You tell those ghosts. <laughs> okay, so the real Annabelle, you can't tell. But her eyebrows are like somewhere up in here. And she also has bangs that look a little better than mine, but um, we're not even gonna talk about that. Okay, so eyebrows. You know who her, her eyebrows look like? Uh, the Bride of Chucky's eyebrows. Maybe they were made in the same era. And these ones are sisters, definitely not twins. I don't even think those look like the eyebrows she had. What was I thinking? I went Chola, I went to Chola. There's no going back now, guys. I don't even think I can remove what I've done. What have I done? Yeah, we went to Chola, went a little hard. And now my brush is going to be dirty. So I'm being very makeup conscious and uh, using a crap ton. Totally fine. Hey, there. This eyebrow. Good thing we have bangs, guys. Good thing. This does not look like Annabelle. What is going on? Okay, so I'm going to use a red lip red lip and uh i think we just really need to like hope this turns out if we hope enough maybe okay there we go this light sucks so i'm gonna get my lip liner in primal and then i think we're gonna be using stubborn yeah stubborn red on red on red on these dry lips because i'm Classy. Okay. 
Ooh, we might have to put on some fake eyelashes. I haven't put fake eyelashes on in so long. I don't even know. I don't know where my ones are. I'm going to have to use this cheap set I have. I guess you didn't need to know they were cheap. They're the most amazing lashes ever. I got like a six pack at Ross for like five bucks. Can't beat it. All right, what do we think of this bold lip with this bold smoky eye? You don't have a Ross? Do you have a, Mar well, I bet if you don't have a Ross, you don't have a Marshalls. You're in Alaska, right, though? Are you in um, Sterling or Soldotna? Oh, Burlington's good. I like Burlington. I went there for the first time last year. Anchorage. Okay. So you're you're in the city. <laughs> I went for the first time, I think it was 2 years ago. We went to Soldotna went fishing for like a week the big city yeah everybody always makes fun of me because I'm from a smaller town and I call because I'm in Utah but I'm outside of Salt Lake City so whenever I go into the city I call it the city but apparently nobody does that here and so then I just sound like a hick I'm like I'm going to the city today It was awesome. And I suck at salmon fishing. Like, horrible. It was, I don't think, I, I think I caught my limit one day out of the whole time we were there. So we had to fish all day long. <laughs> okay. I do like red on me. It makes my teeth look so white. Hey, I brushed my teeth and now you can tell. Okay, so her um, mouth and lips and all that stuff, she's got a very, like, it's kind of black around the edges. Probably, probably all the evil in her. So we're just going to outline the edges in black, and she kind of does have a, um, a wider set mouth. I don't know how to explain it. Just watch. I'm going to look like a joker towards the end. So I'm using black eyeshadow that I got wet. And then I'm just going to kind of fade it in. See, I told you I was going to look like the Joker. I look exactly like the Joker now. we went from like sexy smoky eye to I don't know speaking in riddles and stuff not being a Batman fan that's what we went to we went there I'm just going to fade it over, mess it up, it's fine. I believe in the business, they call this an ombre. We did not do a very good job at it. So if you ever want to do this in real life, 
I suggest you watch a real YouTube video and learn it. Because you're not going to learn anything from me. Okay. I have not a very clean lip, but not really worried about it. Okay, let's see what we got in the realm of cheap lashes. Uh huh. All right, so we've got some lashes. Boom. I think we do still need to do some shading, but I think some lashes would make us all feel better about our day. I just think so. You won't be able to see them because, uh, of course, my. My face is so dark. It's fine. Okay. So this, I don't even know if I'm supposed to use real lash glue on these. Because they're not technically like good lashes. It's fine. Um, oh, cool. And we don't have a uh, thingy. So we're, we're doing these by hand. Which side is this? Okay, so let's stick this puppy on to our eye. Hold, please. Oh, good. They don't stick very well. My favorite. You know what that means? I'm going to stick to everything but my eye. These some beaches better stay on. I feel like I talked these raw slashes up way too much. Tall lashes. Yeah. Ugh, I got glue in my eye. Shouldn't be surprising. <sighs> Dang my typing today. It's okay. I can totally understand it, so you're good. I might draw some lashes on the bottom. How are we on time? Not too bad. Not too good. I mean, all we've done so far is drawn a mustache on. I think we have to do a little bit more shading and then I think she's got some broken spots on her in the movie I think she's had three movies so far have you seen any of them I think the last one is like a conjuring which those ones are always good takes forever for this glue to dry Makes me want to curl up and cry. I haven't seen any of these movies either. But now that I've done some research on it, I think I would want to watch them after, after I do a little more reading on The Real Annabelle. I don't know if you were here, but The Real Annabelle is actually a Raggedy Ann doll. And she's supposedly for real haunted. Used to be a stuffed cold turkey. <laughs> You should get a t-shirt. Stop, stopped horror flicks, cold turkey. I feel like most stuff nowadays is so scary anyways that any type of horror flick is going to be not as scary. There was this one movie, Sinister, and it wasn't even that it was super scary. It was just so twisted. Like, I've things really bother me now, like, uh, watching Sons of Anarchy, just the violence in one of the shows, like, I still think about it to this day, it, like, scarred me for life, and you think about that, and, like, that's just normal nowadays, so it's not weird for you to see that type of violence, like, just on the news, which is sad, but, yeah, I'll never forget that, it was, like, the Sons of Anarchy where, Jax's wife gets murdered, and if I spoiled it for you, I'm sorry. But yeah, that scarred me for your life. 
Like, I still think about it. Obviously, because I'm telling you about it. I just think the older I get, the more sensitive I am to that type of stuff. Like, it hurts my feelings and stuff. Okay. Well, you can't really see that. feeling that I'm looking less like a scary doll and more just kind of like a witchy a witchy lady yeah well maybe or we're just not used to like it just being so out in front of us I mean I feel like we're definitely desensitized to a lot of stuff now but the worst I saw as a kid was like Tales from the Crypt. And even some of those shows still, <laughs> I still think about those. So it's like, I think it's just generational maybe. I remember this one, I don't even know if it was Tales from the Crypt or if it was just like a scary movie we got as kids but this guy would like drive around in his ice cream truck and murder people and like he would put their eyeballs on top of the ice cream and put blood on them and people thought they were cherries and still like ugh, still gets me to this day like I think about that all the time I'm just kind of like venting all of my fears to you guys <laughs> have you noticed <laughs> oh geez sorry It's a safe place. We can talk about the things that scare us here. <laughs> yeah, it was super you. Imagine being a kid and then you're like, oh my gosh, are all ice cream men like this? Yeah, so thankfully the small town I lived in, I don't even think we had an ice cream truck. There's one that rolls around my, uh, my neighborhood. I don't think I'd ever go to an ice cream truck after watching that show. I don't know if you'd get eyeballs in your ice cream or something. Okay. I'm going to do a little shading here. Showing my kids that they want to touch another ice cream. <laughs> yes, see? Then we can both benefit. I'm unloading my fears. And you're saving yourself money. And... Your kids will never ask you for ice cream again. It's amazing. I'm just here to help. <laughs> I feel like I can't make this face look scary. Yeah, it's just not a very scary looking face right now. Why? What did we do wrong? I said before, this video is haunted. Okay. Well, we'll just blend it and then we'll make our face look a little dirty. And we might put some blood some places on my face. Just in case you were wondering. We'll cover these eyebrows up because we're not about that life right now. Maybe I need to do a little bit of like hollowing on the other side. Do we need that here? Just to kind of create that Illusion, I guess. I don't know. I'll just create the whole round thing. Okay. Let's make ourselves dirty. <laughs> 
I'm going to get a paint brush and get it a little bit wet. Because I feel like this doll's been through some stuff. I'm just going to dip it in some browns at a palette one. I definitely wasn't going for that look. Maybe we should dip it in some lighter browns. I'm just going to buff that out so that it doesn't look so poopy. We don't want, we don't want to be a poopy doll. We're not that kind of doll today or any day. I'm never really a poopy doll. I wouldn't put myself in that category. Nope. Not today, poopy doll haters. Not today. Okay. Feeling a little dirty. Somebody put me in a drawer for a really long time. Natural. Yeah, it's well, it's weird because like this doll looks so evil and twisted and then you look up the real doll and it's a Raggedy Ann and you're like, were they all haunted or just this one? I used to have a Raggedy Ann. I was reading this like BuzzFeed thing and then like everybody was commenting like, oh my gosh, my Raggedy Ann was haunted too. And I'm like, what? Liars. <laughs> I gotta fix these lips because I do look like the Joker and they do look kind of crappy. Okay. Now she looks sad. Aw, sad. Yep, she's a sad doll. She's like, hmm. Let's make um, some cuts in my face. Let's do that. So, I think this doll has some scrapes on her face, probably from living her best life. So I'm just gonna do a little shading around where I'm gonna do these cracks. Maybe we'll do one through here. I really wish I could see this dang picture. My freaking printer was possessed. So we're going by memory and just by like what I feel like. Which apparently all I feel like doing tonight is telling scary stories about my life. <laughs> about my life. Yeah, I need to go to bed like two days ago. Okay, let's make some cracks. Let's make some crack, just kidding. This is a kid's show. I don't even know how to make crack, but I look like somebody who does. <laughs> Sometimes the stuff that comes out of my mouth. Lord help us. These look like cracks. Like, how do dolls crack? Hours of interrogation. We're going to call that good. Too much crack is whack.
Whoa, things got blurry there for a second. Okay. I'm going to get some dark brown. I'm just going to go over that. Give it a little indentation. Snazz it up a bit. I feel like I look like a witch. I definitely look like a witch. I need to figure out how to make my mouth look more smiley. Must be all the cracks. Totally all the cracks. <laughs> oh. I'm feeling very weird tonight, if you can't tell. <laughs> it's kind of a it's kind of fun though, right? It's fun, right? Okay. Let's do a little highlighting on our cracks. Just make them look a little cooler. I don't know if that did anything. Ah, why do I not look like so creepy? I need like I need these to be more weird. There. That's a little creepier, especially with that face. Mm. <laughs> okay, let me blend this and then let's put some blood coming out of like my eyes or something. And then let's let's go eat some dinner. I mean, you can eat your dinner. I'll eat mine by myself in my costume. Okay, blood. Let's get on it. So when I do blood, I basically just uh, mix my paint, mix some red and with some black and some brown sometimes if I'm feeling frisky. And then I just drip it off my face. That's what she said. It's a kid's show. Okay, I think I have some blood. Should we have it coming out of our eyes? Yeah, definitely not by myself. I have my ghost. See? <clears throat> Probably just waiting down there for me to throw something at my head. Let's see. Let's have some coming out of our eye. Don't get it in the eye. That never feels good. That's what she said. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> I left it open. Okay. Would she be crying blood? Ooh, that's what we could do someday is like a statue. Crying blood. That would be kind of fun. We'd just be doing a lot of this. Waiting for it to drip down. Better set than play to, right? They're probably just down there like, that chicken smells so good. I made this chicken. It's like called Greek chicken. Oh, that's a good one. So sad. It's not going to stop. That's going to be a gift that keeps on giving. Maybe we should stop that one. It's a little extreme. Yeah, see, if you just want to make bloody tears or bloody whatever, you just have to be patient. Water your paint down. Talk about dinner. It'll come eventually. All right. So this one's dripping down the other one. Ugh. Okay, that's just gonna be an extra one. That one's so extra, it's like going into, not going any further. Jeez, Shmalese. That was a wet one. <laughs> oh, my sense of humor. It's like a 10 year old's. There we go. Now let's 
stop it before it gets too out of out of hand. Okay, let's put some coming out of my mouth and then I swear we're gonna go. I mean, this one is already coming out of my mouth, but that one doesn't count. Mmm. Okay. I feel pretty now. I feel like I don't want that to go any further. Alright, let's see if we can get these bangs to look amazing. Nice side swept bang. These bangs definitely aren't aren't my best. They're like circa 1992 bangs. Before it was cool to uh, poof them up. Okay. This is Annabelle. <laughs> so this was the uh, the goal, and this is what we ended up with. I think I think you can't call this a fail because we tried. But I do like I have on a dress. It's painted all the way. So I tried, and then I think my neck looks like it's detached. So yeah, this is Annabelle the doll coming at you not haunted. Um, this is our look number three. So we're going to start going down a dark road. Halloween is coming up. So we have quite a few uh, looks planned for Halloween. Lots of series, serieses, series, series. I should go back to school. But there's a quite, <laughs> there's quite a few series in the works for Halloween. So we're going to start those after this one. We have one more doll look and it's a surprise because I don't even know what it is yet. But one more doll look, and then we're gonna start our Halloween spooky series. Um, but yeah, so I think we gave it our all. We definitely uh, we definitely look different than when we started, and I guess that's just the, that's the goal nowadays. These eyebrows are awesome. So you guys have an amazing night. If you want a good read and you wanna go down like a rabbit hole, look up Annabelle, like the real Annabelle. Raggedy Ann, Haunted AF, in some museum, in some glass, like, gets exercised every once in a while, like, by a priest, you know, not like, but yeah, go look it up, read about it, educate yourself on important things. I say that as I sound, like, so dumb. <laughs> yes, look it up, and then let me know what, like, the creepiest part is, like, I didn't even know it was real, I thought this was just a movie, but... This is one of those based in real life things. So yeah, pretty scary. All right, you guys, you have an amazing night. Thank you for hanging out with me. It made it a lot more entertaining, at least for me, <laughs> hopefully for you too. But I will see you next week. Have an amazing weekend. Cause yeah, it's just been one of those weeks. So I'm already thinking about the weekend. Bye guys.